Blake Bullock, uh, Vice President for Military Space Systems with Northrop Grumman. Thanks for joining us here on Australia in Space TV and welcome to Sydney for IAC 2025. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, look, a big thank you to Northrop Grumman, a platinum sponsor with our Quad Series and our Five Nations Partner Forum and welcome reception on Sunday at the Australian National Maritime Museum. So firstly, a big thank you. And I think it's a good opportunity to cover off on your keynote presentation that you gave at the Five Nations, um, particularly on the Arctic mission. So, uh, and you've got a fascinating background uh, and a very interesting role with Northrop uh, as well. Maybe let's start off with the Arctic mission uh, because that's a good segue into international collaboration that Northrop Grumman has. Yeah, I was just so thrilled to be able to launch that mission about one year ago and what was really just astounding about what we achieved there, it was the first time that we've ever launched a national security payload on an international platform and using a, basically commercial products and so I think we really blazed a trail for a new methodology that we can use as we continue to explore international partnerships that save a tremendous amount of resources and get you know the superb capability on orbit quickly. Uh, that was with uh, Norway uh, as well. Uh, maybe it's interesting to know how long these missions go for. How long did you work on something like that? Oh gosh, well you know the timeline for delivering the payload was just a few short number of years but Starting that, that collaboration and establishing that vision was something that happened a lot earlier on. And so it was really interesting. Once everybody got on the same page and was sharing that same mission objective, we were able to move very, very quickly. Um, so I think now we'll have many years of operational capability with the satellite on orbit. And uh, maybe in the insights into the international collaboration, I imagine uh, you are travelling around the world. Uh, who are your main sort of partners and some of the key projects that you're involved with? Yeah, well in military space systems we have a big focus on the, um, on the United States Space Force and with the Space Development Agency where we're able to really demonstrate moving with speed and low Earth orbit with proliferated systems and really orbiting at all different orbital regimes in order to cover the different aspects of the mission for the United States Space Force. But our collaboration on the Arctic Satellite Broadband Mission was a great way for us to demonstrate how we could bring Space Systems Command together with our international partners and commercial partners for a lot of affordability across the board. And another fascinating project is the James Webb uh, Telescope. Uh, maybe you, in, your, your involvement with that? Yeah, it's been a real highlight of my career to be a part of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Um, Every single day, we're seeing incredible results come through. Um, but building that observatory in partnership with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency was really groundbreaking and that we proved we could bring the best minds from all around the world together to have a role in literally building the different instruments and the observatory itself. And then what's so phenomenal about it is now that we have access to that data, which is publicly available to any citizen who can get on the internet can yep. download every bit of information coming off the observatory. There are some of the most brilliant scientists and astronomers in Australia and the United States and all around the world who are able to just continue to crank out these groundbreaking discoveries in basic physics, astrophysics, cosmology. And even most exciting to me was that when we first conceived of the idea, it was really designed around the concept of seeing the first light as it turned on in early galaxy formation. But the field of um, exoplanets really evolved while we were building the telescope and it turned out having a massive infrared sensitive optic at the L2 orbit was quite perfect for investigating the atmospheres of exoplanets or planets around other stars that are not our sun. Yeah. So they've been able to really make some really exciting uh, breakthroughs about what kind of chemicals are in the atmospheres of these other planets and could some of these planets potentially have signs of life and we're doing that right now and I think it's really paved a way for let's collaborate like that again with our international partners and go even deeper and get a better look at some of those planets. It'd be hard to even understand how we could go deeper, but we <laughs> saw a little bit in the background here that the science is just, as you say, something new every day coming through. Absolutely. So we're still yet to discover everything uh, and the unknowns, really. Um, but Blake, uh, here at Sydney uh, for IAC, how are you finding it? So we're only on day two, but you're here for the week, I hope. Uh, yeah, what are some of the takeaways for you so far? Oh, this has been a phenomenal experience for Northrop Grumman to be able to come, talk about what we have, 
decades of experience doing, the deep mission understanding we have, and then I've just been blown away by the talent and the expertise and the excellence demonstrated by university contributors, other international partners who are here talking about what they're doing, the heads of agencies and leaders. Um, it's a very special event and has provided a, a phenomenal opportunity to meet, to innovate, and to forge plans to contribute in the future together as collaborators. Wonderful. Well, it was great to spend some time with you at the Quad Nations and the Five Nations Partner event as well, So, uh, and also hear from you as well speaking. So enjoy the rest of IAC. It's a real pleasure. Blake Bullock, the Vice President for Military Space Systems with Northrop Grumman. Enjoy the rest of IAC, and thanks for joining us on Australian Space TV. Thank you so much for having me.